This is David Holmes on a journey from Kings Lynn to Norwich in June last year. David is filming the journey with a camera mounted on his helmet. He's about to film his own death. Losing a child is the worst possible thing that you could imagine would happen to you because it's so unexpected. Um, we all know that at some point in our lives it's likely that we'll lose our parents, but not our children. David had been at the Norfolk Arena in Kings Lynn watching a motorsport event. He returned home to Norwich at high speed, often getting close to 100 miles an hour. This is where the accident happened, the A47 just outside Norwich. David was travelling down the hill at 97 miles an hour. A driver turning right didn't see him and pulled out. The video does show the impact. We've decided not to. The fact that you're using the video will prove controversial, you know that. Yes, we do, um, but I don't make any apologies for that. Um, our business, all of us, the, our partners, is around reducing casualties, and there are people out there that are dying and being injured, and it's our job to try and do everything we can to prevent that happening. The car driver was prosecuted for causing death by careless driving. He's doing 130 hours community work and was banned from driving for 18 months. You're a bike rider. David was, was clearly going too fast. He was breaking the law. He was. He took too much speed into that situation. And you can argue if he were going a little slower, he could have braked, swerved, reacted. But had he been a bit closer and the driver had still turned, it would have been a serious crash. So, yeah, both parties had those issues. David Holmes was 38 when he died. He'd just returned from working in the Antarctic. His mother describes him as a legend and a gentleman. I hope people aren't only shocked, but because it is real, it's, this is real life and death. But I hope that they remember it and they carry it with them when they're on the road.